A critical moment for Bitcoin as the daily candle right now is currently trading above this trend line, potentially breaking out of this bull flag. And a huge shout out to the Casper crew VIP Discord because this long trade that you see right from the bottom was a trade setup that I told everybody I was taking in the New York Open live stream. And this trade that you see right here is a trade setup that we also gave in advance in the Casper crew VIP Discord. And not only are we breaking out of that bull flag, but as you can see, we're coming up to a key, key level on the chart, which is the value area low of the massive range that we've been trading since February. So what can we say about this Bitcoin pump besides we're pumping and it's going to be huge right to the 6 one eater, the biggest pump in the world. China knows it. And that little guy from North Korea, whatever his name is. And I'm going to be walking you through exactly how I plan to trade this price action and the next trades I'm looking for. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications, put on a dang shirt. How the heck is anybody going to take you seriously, Jason Casper, when you're on the internet with no shirt? Because we are giving you the juiciest Bitcoin updates here on YouTube. Now let's paint a little bit of picture of what has happened for the past few weeks. The Bitcoin price got a pretty significant move to the downside back in the beginning of August, landing us at $49,045. This is a very, very key level of support. And when we zoom out here on the weekly time frame, we can see that this is actually the only level of support that we have until the price comes much lower. And as we came to this area and we watched the price down at this area, on August 5th, I let everybody know in the Casper crew VIP discord that I was taking along from this area because it was a very, very key area of support. And as you can see, I still have the long trade open after realizing $6,000 of profit. I still have about $10,000 open in the trade. Now, what has happened for the past few weeks is a little bit interesting because yes, we got a big wick to the upside, but we have been unable now to come back inside this key zone right here. As I said, again, we're at a very key level right now, about $60,500. This the value area low of the macro range that Bitcoin has been trading since the end of February. Why is this so important? Well, whenever you have a sideways range, and most of the time the markets are trading sideways, don't let anybody fool you. The people out there that are always expecting catastrophic moves to the downside or meteoric moves to the upside, most of the time, Bitcoin or any asset you are looking at is trading in a sideways range. In fact, we can go back in history and just mark out throughout the entirety of this bull market. Most of the time, the price is trading in those sideways ranges. And then once in a while, we get those big moves. And so how can we tell if a big move is coming? How can we tell if a big breakout or a big breakdown is coming? Well, it has to do with these fair value zones. The market likes to price an asset within a fair value. And if the asset comes above that fair value, it's called overbought. There needs to be a correction to the downside. If the asset comes below that fair value, it's called overbought oversold, there needs to be a correction to the upside. And if we can confirm candles such as daily or especially weekly candles back inside the zone that's been considered fair value for however long it's been, then we can actually expect to move back to the top of the range. And so right now, as we are coming to this bull flag, potentially breaking out of the trend line, we're also attempting right now to get a move and a close back inside of this key fair value zone. Now, when we look at our indicator market cipher B, what do we see? We see there is the potential of a bottom forming within this week or next week. When we look at the five day time frame, there is the potential of a bullish divergence where as the price is getting lower, the momentum waves are getting higher, giving us that very juicy, uneven butt cheek pattern where you can see the juicy left butt cheek full of gravy, full of ravioli, and then that skinny right butt cheek no gravy, no ravioli. And if we take the cheeks and we superimpose them onto the chart, we can see that yes, the, the resemblance is striking. We clearly have a potential uneven butt cheek pattern happening here at the bottom of a range. And when we go to the daily time frame, we have confirmed uneven butt cheek patterns here where we have a juicy left cheek and a skinny right cheek as the money flow is continuing to get higher. And these things all together tell me that if the price can hold above this $60,000, $60,500 level, Level, we can very easily see a move back to the $67,000 zone, which is why I'm still holding the long trades all the setups that we gave in advance in the Casper Crew VIP Discord, the best trading community in the world. And if you want to join, you can go to jasoncaspertrading.com and click the link to join the best trading community in the world, which includes multiple instructors giving you multiple live streams every single day, telling you what they are planning to do, what they are doing, letting you know oftentimes if they are entering into trades, of course, not financial advice, not signals. We also have an entire beginner's course in there where you can learn to do this and do this properly. Also, if you want to trade Bitcoin and altcoins along with me. My two go-to exchanges right now are first of all, Blowfin, which is offering a 10% cash back plus up to a $2,000 futures 
bonus and a chance to win all these juicy prizes. It's actually a really good deal for traders. Nobody else is giving you 10% cash back. And my other go-to exchange, of course, is Mexi. Mexi, you can trade 0% spot fees. So you can go in and out of Bitcoin and Tether or in and out of different altcoins with no fee. It's actually pretty awesome. Plus the lowest futures fees in the world, 0.01% maker fee taker fee zero percent maker fee you can scalp the low time frames and still be profitable on mexc links are in the pinned comment and description for these exchanges if you're interested so let me talk about the next trade that i am personally looking for there's two potential longs here with a target of sixty seven thousand dollars now the first potential long is a little bit more risky because it involves a pullback and a rejection again from this key value area low but the long opportunity would be if we take the fibonacci from that last swing low that we made to the high coming back down to test this Fibonacci golden pocket could now give us a move back toward the top of the range now the second long opportunity that we have here is going to be a few daily closes above this key value area low at sixty thousand six hundred dollars right we get a big bullish pump above this area and then we come back down to retest this area that gives us a really good risk to reward trade setup with our target at around sixty seven thousand dollars where we can put our stop loss below whatever that swing low is made and get ourselves probably around a good three to one risk reward ratio for our take profit one at 67k and potentially holding out back to the top of the range now you can trade this on blowfin or mexi links in the pinned comment and description if we have a weekly green dot with confirmed daily bullish divergences there's no reason why we can't look for the top of the range again i know we haven't seen it throughout the entirety of this range but there is still some short liquidity up here to be taken now let's talk about some bearish scenarios because these are two longs that we can be looking for right now but let's talk about short trades now of course sixty-seven thousand dollars is an area where we should be looking for a short trade but if we cannot even get a move above this level and we come back down, let's say we do bounce from the golden pocket, we still need to be now looking for a potential lower high here to take us back down to a new low. Why is this? Now, again, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news here, but we do need to be objective with the charts. If we go to the higher term timeframes, we do have confirmed monthly bearish divergences. And if we take a look at the past, when we get the confirmed monthly bearish divergence in a bull market, last time was April 2021, it gave us a 50% plus move to the downside before we made our all-time high. And right now we have a confirmed monthly bearish divergence. And if we take a look at how far that has given us to the downside thus far, it's only been about 35%. If we come 55% like last time, well, that's going to be taking us down to around that low 30s area and if we look at the monthly chart we don't have any support until we come back to retest the low 30s am i saying this is definitely going to happen no but what i am saying is this because we are in an uptrend because i hold a lot of bitcoin on spot i'm going to be looking for short trades and i'm going to be making sure i'm holding a portion of these short trades and not closing them totally because there are some bear signs on these higher term time frames and based on historical data this could be a place where we get a bigger pullback in a bull market in an uptrend this happens all the time look at the last bull market we had a 55 percent move to the downside before we made the all-time high now here's the thing about the bitcoin price whether or not we're going to hit a new all-time high uh after breaking this range or we come back down to the next supports which is going to be like the low 40s or potentially the low 30s in a worst case scenario people always say it can never happen it will never happen people get so emotionally committed to a certain price on bitcoin that they miss out on moves of the market but here's the thing in life when you say it could never happen the next thing you know the unthinkable does happen But we don't have to worry about that for now because we are still trading in the sideways range and i've given you guys the next trade setups that i am looking to take so that is it for today's video make sure to like subscribe click the bell for notifications may god bless everybody in the name of jesus yeshua the messiah even if you are not religious i still pray you and your family are super blessed and i'll see everybody in the next video peace